Hello! Welcome on the World on Wave! We are uh, Arina, Catalin and uh, Monarch. A sailing family with the urge of discovering the world and making you a part of the journey. In the previous episode, you found out how we decided to leave behind our normal lives in Romania as entrepreneurs in the dance field and TV journalists to start a new life living on the sailing boat Perseas. Now it's time to show you what we have been doing for the last uh, seven months while we also had our own TV show. Our journey started in Bucharest, Romania. We had just one month or less to prepare all the documents needed to buy the boat, and they were many, to put things right, to sell some objects, to rent an apartment, to store somewhere somehow what we didn't need, and to pack everything for a new life on board. We try to be minimalists, but still the operation of finding places for our stuff on Perseas was very difficult. We thought that we would stay in Athens just one month till the papers are ready. But, 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 the bureaucracy was way bigger than anticipated, so we end up leaving in Athens for three months and a half. What's your favorite memory from Athens? Well, there are many. <laughs> we had a lot of time to feel the place and to film. Yeah, a lot. We met the Evzons, the soldiers from the Presidential Guard that are best known for how they stay still. But interviewing them, we found out that there is a big and important history behind. By the way, never make fun of them. To film in their unit, we needed a special approval from the President of the Republic. We visited basically everything there, right? Yes, the little neighborhood uh, Anafiotica, an island in the middle of the city. Amazing. Of course, Acropolis and all the other ancient sites. I enjoyed the most the ancient Agora. Such a peaceful place. We went up on the highest hill of Athens, Likavitos, and we took very nice footage of the city. We also learned how to drink in Greece from the extraordinary bartender of Bretos, the oldest bar in Greece and the second in Europe. We discovered there Masticha. No. Again, please. And it was so hard for me to talk at the camera for our show after some drinks. We had the chance to dance on salsa and bachata, played live by our dear friend, Mr. Bachata. Hi, mom. But the most important is that we met people. We made really good friends in the marina, which was our neighborhood. Ba 
In Athens, we had the time to adjust our lives to the new situation, to get used to living on board. Monarch had the time to exercise. The situation didn't change so much. Then, finally, the documents were ready. Our first stop was Poros. Our first anchorage! Mm. And this during the night. And I remember. We found out that our anchor is not working well. It was a nightmare. Mm. It was the first, I think, that the only time when I was so quiet <laughs> for an hour or so, you were shocked by how for shocked me, I was. It was a pleasure for me. <laughs> You're mean! Okay, <laughs> short. <laughs> We met there uh, Mario and uh, Alessandra couple uh, who is living on the boat uh, the boat the name of the boat is uh, mr blue yes we became very good friends we were so lucky that we met them you can follow them uh, on instagram sailing mr blue yes on instagram we met the mayor and uh, we talked about the problems uh, of the island. Yes, and we also saw the kids in the parade because, uh, do you remember? It was yes, I all remember. day, a big celebration in Greece. You can understand how, how wrong it, it is to, to give up prob almost the one third of our coast and, and of, the, of the main island of Poros for this industrial zone. Also, when I say Poros, I say Franz and Bivs, our best friends and godsons from Romania. Oh, I miss them so much. <laughs> they visited us uh, there from Romania and the first encounter after four months, it was very, very emotional. Yes, you cried <laughs> one hour. Or <laughs> more. We miss you guys. We visited everything together. We walked on the narrow and magical streets of the town. We enjoyed the view from the clock tower. We went at Poseidon's sanctuary, hoping for his help on the sea. We met a very special old guy who was so nice to share with us the secrets of long and good life and the secrets of lemon and orange groves. Thank you very much. You have all our respect and appreciation. <laughs> then we sailed with our friends to Idra Island.
Idra. <laughs> Idra was the place where. <laughs> Idra was the place. Idra. Yes, Idra. Idra is the place where uh, monarch uh, fell into the water. We don't have uh, any footage with uh, that, uh, that very moment. very special okay. moment, yes. <laughs> yes, he was very scared. We got into the water to pull him out. It was... Moreover, he didn't like uh, the island because everywhere were just stones, rocks, no grass, and he couldn't actually do his things. So. We didn't find a good place in the morning night, it was very crowded, so we left the second day after having a kind of a party for Franz's birthday while working at our TV show episode because we had a deadline to respect. We wanted to go to Spetes, the island Spetes, but some new problems with the anchor appeared, so we decided for Porto Heli. We stayed there uh, two weeks. Yes, in the Peloponnesian Peninsula. And we met two Romanian families that invited us in their homes. And also they were travel guides for us. We visited together the two big craters in Didima village. In Kranidi, we saw how the original Greek olive oil is made. Our uh, next uh, stop was uh, Naplio. And we immediately fell in love with the old city. Naplio was the first capital of Greece after the independence war. We enjoyed the city, the Palamidi fortress, Burzi fortress. We visited a unique museum, the only Komboloi museum in the world. We also went to a pottery workshop and we met Marinella, a Romanian with a big heart that treated us like her children. We visited uh, Argos, the place where uh, Perseus was born. <laughs> yes, and they also say that uh, it's the oldest city in Europe. We stayed in Nafplio one month because Monarch had a surgery for removing his testicles. They were full of tumors. After his recovery, we wanted to sail as fast as possible to south, where the weather is warmer. So we sailed in the Argolic Gulf to Tiros, then Kiparisi. And Monevasia. In Monembasia, we liked the castle. It's one of the few permanently inhabited castles in the world.
but we most loved the people, Diana and her family. We spent together in Romanian style the new year, and Diana was so nice to give us a ride in all the region. We visited the Peloponnesian coast on its nice roads with olive trees and lemon and oranges groves. We went in all the important places there. Puedes decir sí, quién puede decidir. The very nice port of Napoli, the Nithio. Simplemente soy así. Si no nos lo notificas, el silencio sigue ahí. No simule ser sincero, reconoce solo, di que sí. No puedes decir sí, siquiera di que no. Si nos dices no con no, seremos que es que no. Si no nos lo notificas, el silencio sigue ahí. No si We went also in the famous party. No sé, di, no sé a que sí. Litra, with its underwater city destroyed by an earthquake. Then we waited for some days with good forecast and we left. <laughs> Our journey was Monemvasia, Kitira Island, Antikitira Island, and Kisamos, Crete. These passages weren't so nice because of the big waves, we had even 7 meters waves. But we were very happy when we made it to Crete. From Kisamos, we went to Hania. What do you remember from Hania? <laughs> Just the storm. <laughs> Me too. It was so bad that it was impossible to actually stay on Perseus. So Monarch and I went to a hotel, but Catalin stayed on the boat all the time because the wind was changing, the lines were breaking all the time. The best thing uh, of uh, Hania is that uh, we met uh, Sakis and Evi, thanks uh, to George from Athens. We became very good friends, they supported us a lot and they are the ones who advised us to come here in Rethymno because it's a much better marina and they were right. We are now in Rethymno and Perseas is not moving even though we had just few days with sun, the rest were rainy, windy, very bad weather.
Next on the World on Wave, you will find out the truth about living on a sailing boat during the winter. Also, you will meet our friends, Sakis and Evi. You will come with us in some special places. You will discover the real Cretan villages in the mountains and you will feel that you went back in time thousands of years ago. Thanks for watching. If you feel like, hit the subscribe button and become our friends. For early updates and funny things, you also find the World on Wave on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. We would be really grateful if you may consider to support us on Patreon. With your help, you will experience new and interesting things around the world. You have the power to make it happen. Till next time, like, share, comment please and follow your dream. Thank <laughs> you.